Romeo and Juliet is a tragic play written by William Shakespeare, believed to have been written between 1591 and 1595. It is one of the most famous and enduring love stories in literature. The play revolves around the ill-fated romance of two young star-crossed lovers from rival families, the Montagues and the Capulets in Verona. The story begins with a long-standing feud between the Montague and Capulet families, which creates tension and violence in the city. In this hostile environment, Romeo, a Montague, attends a masquerade ball hosted by the Capulets. The Grand Capulet Masquerade Ball was in full swing, with music and laughter filling the opulent hall. Romeo, a young Montague, stood near the entrance, his mask concealing his identity as he watched the festivities. He had only come to the event to ease his troubled heart after a recent rejection of love. Juliet, the radiant daughter of the Capulets, moved gracefully through the crowd, her mask shrouding her face in mystery. She was the embodiment of elegance and charm, capturing the attention of all who beheld her. Their eyes met across the crowded ballroom, and an inexplicable connection sparked between them as if the universe itself conspired to bring them together. Romeo, entranced by Juliet's beauty, whispered to himself, Did my heart love till now? Forswear its sight, for I never saw true beauty till this night. Juliet, intrigued by the handsome stranger before her, inquired of her nurse. Juliet, to nurse, who is that gentleman in the mask? Nurse, whispering, I do not know, my lady, but I shall find out. The nurse discreetly made her way through the crowd, leaving Juliet with a sense of anticipation. Romeo, unable to contain his curiosity, approached Juliet. Romeo, with a charming smile, Good lady, may I be so bold as to inquire your name? Juliet, playfully, my name is not worth knowing. Romeo, intrigued. I beg to differ, for if your name is as fair as your face, then it is the most precious name in Verona. Juliet's heart fluttered at Romeo's words, and the two continued to exchange flirtatious banter, unaware of the feud that divided their families. As they conversed, the world around them faded, and in that magical moment they found solace in each other's presence, unknowingly setting the wheels of fate into motion. Romeo and Juliet's love blooms quickly and intensely, leading them to secretly marry with the help of Friar Lawrence, who hopes their union will help reconcile the feuding families. However, their blissful romance faces countless obstacles. Tybalt, Juliet's hot-headed cousin challenges Romeo to a duel, resulting in Mercutio, Romeo's close friend, getting killed. In retaliation, Romeo kills Tybalt and is banished from Verona by Prince Aeschylus. Separated from each other, the young lovers desperately try to find a way to be together. They concoct a daring plan with Friar Lawrence's assistance, which involves Juliet taking a potion that will make her appear dead for a short period. The friar intends to reunite the lovers when Juliet wakes up. However, communication between Romeo and Friar Lawrence fails, leading Romeo to believe Juliet is truly dead. Romeo, consumed by grief, rushes back to Verona and purchases poison from an apothecary. He finds Juliet's lifeless body at her family's tomb, and unable to bear the thought of living without her, he takes his own life. Juliet then awakens, finds Romeo dead, and, heartbroken, decides to join him in death. She uses his dagger to take her life, and the two young lovers' deaths ultimately lead to the end of the feud between the Montagues and the Capulets. Romeo and Juliet explores themes of love, fate, and the destructive nature of hatred and violence. It is a timeless tale that continues to resonate with audiences across the world, inspiring countless adaptations in various forms of art, literature, theater, and film. The play's enduring popularity is a testament to Shakespeare's profound understanding of human emotion and his ability to craft enduring stories that touch the hearts of generations.